Earning your first 1,000 subscribers to your YouTube gaming channel can be a challenge. In fact, 99.3% of all subscribers to this YouTube channel do not have 1,000 subscribers. I want to help you on your journey. In this video, I'm going to show you some strategies you can use to build your search engine optimization, your SEO for your channel, in order to grow your channel, get exposure, and work on getting your 1,000 subscribers. And it all starts right now. Hello, if this is your first time here, my name is Blaine, and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of your video game experiences. So if you like original content on restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other great video game content, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out. An important thing to know about growing a YouTube channel, it's not something that happens overnight. It takes intentionality and persistence. When I started producing these videos that you have been watching on this YouTube channel, I had two subscribers in August of 2019, and one of them was my wife. I got 1,000 subscribers on February 2nd of 2020. It took about five months, but if you are persistent and consistent and you don't give up and you follow smart, sound strategies, especially ones for search engine optimization and getting the right titles and descriptions and keywords for your videos, you will grow and your channel will grow organically. People will find your channel, find your content, and you will grow your YouTube channel. Make sure you watch this video to the end because there's an important poll for you to take at the end and your voice matters. Here we go. If people can't find your gaming channel, they can't subscribe to your gaming channel. So let's look at some strategies for using SEO to help people discover you. I think it can sometimes be very helpful to see the destination before you take the journey. So let's take a look at where the most recent video that I published to the channel before this one has ranked in YouTube. Install RetroArch on PC. Let's take a look at where it actually ranks on the platform with private browsing installed to avoid skewing the results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the number seven overall search result based on five days worth of being on the platform. How does this compare to some of the heavy hitters channels that are ranked one through six? Well, let's take a look. Here's ETA Prime. His channel is rocking 455,000 subscribers. Let's look at another one, Tech Yes City. 435,000 subscribers. And how about the video right above this one from Tech James? 139,000 subscribers. Don't think for a minute that you can't get your videos ranked on YouTube if you're a small channel, because you can. And good SEO is gonna be critical to that success. There aren't any real secrets out in the world, but there are things people don't understand or know very well. When you start typing into the Google search bar, the things that pop down underneath it are the top search results, usually the top 10, that match the keywords that you're searching for. So whatever you see down there, those are the top 10 things people are actually searching. There is no reason to invent keywords that people might be searching. If you just do a little bit of keyword research by typing in your proposed title right into Google and make sure that there's a drop down in the list there that matches that, you will find a search term in a title that people are legitimately searching for and vastly improve your SEO. If you don't see a drop down for what you're typing in, it's not a common search term and you should consider revising it. Install RetroArch on PC pops up right down there in the common search term list, so it's a good choice. As an example of what happens if you are no longer looking at a good search term, if you type in install RetroArch on a goldfish, you lose all of the install RetroArch prefix to your search term, which means it's no good anymore. YouTube's the number two search engine in the world, owned by the number one search engine in the world, so it works exactly the same way for suggested search. Start typing in your suggested title for your video, and you will see the most commonly searched terms that match that drop down and suggested. These are real search terms that people are legitimately searching for on YouTube. They are not invented search terms that people are not actually searching for. A common mistake a lot of people make with SEO is they try to guess at what people are searching at instead of using what they're really searching for. Proof positive? 
Try installing RetroArch on a goldfish here, and the same thing happens. All of the RetroArch prefix stuff disappears. If you do nothing more than this, you will have achieved a lot, but we can do better. To get your gaming YouTube channel over the 1,000 subscriber mark, you're going to need to become proficient with SEO at a higher level. Morning Fame has been instrumental in helping me hone my own SEO skills, and I recommend it highly to you as an incredible service to help you hone your own SEO skills. Nico and his team at Morning Fame have done an incredible job of simplifying SEO and helping people get ranked on YouTube. You have to have an invite link to get signed up for Morning Fame, but I have provided one for you in the description below. I'm going to teach you the process that I use to do keyword research because it will really demystify a lot of how this works and how to be successful at it. If you're just on YouTube to have fun, great. But if you're here to get past that 1,000 subscriber mark and 4,000 watch time hour mark to get monetized, then you need to be aware of whether or not people are actually looking for what you plan to make a video on because if they're not, there's no reason to make the video. That's why you use this, which helps you find an idea. So I'm gonna put in install RetroArch on again, just like I did on Google. And you may have caught before that the first search result on Google was install RetroArch on Xbox One. So let's take a look at that and see how my channel would do based on this search term. And here's what we discover, and I'm gonna translate all this for you. In these grades that you see here, in order to be able to rank, you need to have at least a grade of D or higher on the first three and a grade of B on the last one. We'll examine this in detail in just a moment. But suffice it to say, if you see anything in red, it means you have a very low chance of being able to rank for the search term in your title that you're planning to use. The number with the check mark means green is that people are actually searching this keyword and that it's legitimate and real, and that it's a 49 out of 100, which is actually pretty good. Anything around the halfway mark, around 50 or so, or higher is going to be a pretty high volume search term. But let's go ahead and move forward with this so that you can see how these letter grades impact your ability to rank the video that you propose to make. Step three is where you really get the detailed information to tell you how successful your video will rank in search and likely be discovered on YouTube. So here are the four categories to be aware of. The first one is the number of subscribers for the channels you're competing against or as it says here, think competition. So in this example, the competing channel that they are using as the gateway has 3,820 subscribers. Mine has 5,710 subscribers, so it gets ranked as an A. The next one is called views, and it's an estimate of how many views you'll likely get based on your competition. For this particular score, I get an E or red. A and B mean that you pass, C and D mean caution, and E and F mean fail. So they're green, yellow, and red. In this case, it's a red, so Morning Fame is saying, you're not likely to get a lot of views if you try to make this video. It thinks I'd get about 953 based on the competition score. Then look at likes and comments. Again, it doesn't think I'm gonna get a whole lot of engagement here captivating video. They don't think it's going to reach a whole lot of people and resonate with them. Based on the size of my channel, the content itself is valuable, but based on the size of my channel, I'm not likely to rank and reach the audience. But in terms of relevance to the channel itself, it's an A. Of course, something related to doing RetroArch and Xbox and video games is going to be relevant to my channel. This is ultimately about looking for opportunities to rank. What it's saying is if there's something red listed in your four scores anywhere, you're not likely to get ranked in search very high and probably not going to get discovered. So in these circumstances, you should reevaluate your title. And in the case of this video, that's exactly what I did. And look what happened. You should have a minimum of a D score for everything you intend to do, remember, and at least a B for the last one for relevance. And here is exactly what it said I would rank. D, 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 A. The first three are all yellow or at least a score of D, and the relevant score is at least a B. This is a green light, 
And if you look, it's still a 49. It's still a green check, which means it's a real search term that people are legitimately searching for. Now look at the same comparisons. It becomes much clearer that I can rank for this based on the result that you see here. The simple change in the wording of the title completely changes the direction of the project, but it also changes the probable outcome of getting ranked on YouTube and ultimately getting more subscribership for your channel. Now that you know you can get your video ranked, let's go to step four, the final step, and write the title, description, and keywords that will make this a successful project. And make sure to get you found in search. Here's the title, description, and keywords that I used for the most recent RetroArch video. Install RetroArch on PC. For the title, always use the keyword phrase you want to rank for at the beginning of the title. It's tremendously important because that's the place that YouTube spends most of its energy looking for your keyword phrase, right at the beginning of the title. After that, write something that entices the viewer to click. For example, for this video I wrote, in 10 minutes, easy guide. In the description, make sure the keyword phrase is present in the description. So in this case, so that it didn't look quite so robotic, I put, learn how to install RetroArch on your PC. But at the bottom of every description, I also put the complete title because it helps YouTube understand the title and the description are about the same thing. It establishes the consistency that YouTube needs to know where to rank your video. Then you can fill in your links, affiliate links, any copyright information you need to put in your description, and so forth. For the tags themselves, your goal should always be to put your title keyword phrase at the beginning of as many tags as is possible. So in this case, for example, install RetroArch on PC is gonna be the very first tag. YouTube tends to put higher priority on the first tags that you use. So in this case, the more relevant, Morning Fame puts them right up at the top. So as you scroll down, you'll see here, it just kind of runs out of install RetroArch on PC tags that have something else after them, 2020 or something to that case. So you would look for other similar kinds of tags like how to install RetroArch on PC, set up RetroArch on PC, other similar tags that incorporate as many of the title keyword as are possible. These tags work exactly the same way as titles. If they aren't being searched by people, there's no reason to have them. And Morning Fame will mark them with a green check if they are valid tags that people are legitimately searching for. Once you're satisfied with your title, your description, and your tags, you can simply copy them over to your clipboard and paste them to your YouTube video as you upload it. By following these sound SEO practices, you will grow your YouTube channel. There's a poll here and I want to know, did this content add value to your gaming experiences? Going into these topics of SEO and building a YouTube channel for gamers is something completely new to this channel. So what I want to know is, did it help you? Just click yes in the poll if it did or no if it didn't. Your feedback is tremendously important to the growth of this channel, supporting this channel, and helping me deliver the content that best helps you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on great original new content when it comes to the channel. And check out these videos here for more great original video game content. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.